Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and we are going to be exploring around World Showcase. I want to go to all the different country pavilions, do a little shopping and see what unique things we can buy and just take a closer look. I feel like a lot of people just rush around World Showcase and they really don't dive into the pavilions themselves. So I figured today would be the perfect day to do so. Anywho, let's go do this. It is a super hot day today in Epcot, 93 degrees out, so the sun's going to be beaming down on us as we walk around World Showcase, but I also see that there might be some thunderstorms around 6 o'clock, so hopefully we can finish up before that. I'm always a firm believer in starting off in Mexico and then making our way around World Showcase, but today I think we're going to do something a little bit different. I think we're going to start off the day at the International Gateway and then make our way going towards Mexico starting with United Kingdom and Canada because last time I did a video like this Canada didn't have any merchandise same thing with United Kingdom and it kind of stays true to the way that I like to go I always like to go in the direction of Mexico so we're going to go around and stop at each of the pavilions Mexico, Norway, China see what cool things they have for sale and things that you get to do and just enjoy all of World Showcase. I'm gonna really try to focus on things that are like World Showcase specific and like country specific things that you can only do or buy in World Showcase or the country that you're actually in like whatever pavilion and it's always amazing like I said and it's always like kind of like an eye-opener. And here we are at the United Kingdom Pavilion. We're gonna go explore around into the different stores, try to find unique things to buy, and just enjoy. I love it over here though, it's beautiful, and it doesn't look that crowded today. There are a lot of things that you can buy in here that you would be shocked that you can buy. Like they have some Beatles merchandise. Also, take a look at this Mickey Mouse right here. This is from the Disney Store in London. It actually says it on the bottom there. Isn't that really nifty? That's $34.99. They have a nice United Kingdom spirit jersey over there. And even some fancy fragrances. Look at this. Very, very fancy. Take a look at these cool United Kingdom glasses with Mickey on it. British and brilliant. I love this. This is actually really funny. Hello, mate. <laughs> I don't know how much this is though. Oh, $14.99, $14.99, that's not too bad at all. They also have a tumbler over here too. Oh yeah, this is Mickey as well. Oh, and it says Epcot on it. Oh, this is actually really fancy. $24.99 for this. A little bit more pricier, but I don't know. I like this one a little bit more. Something else that's really cool, a lot of people don't even know that you can do. You can look up your family crest here at the United Kingdom Pavilion and have like a nice little display put together. Look at how cool it is in here. I love it. And they have so many different offerings too. Like I said, you get to look up your family's name or their family's crest and they have all these different frames that you get to do right here. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty remarkable. All you have to do is tell them your last name and they'll look up all the information and they have everything from steins to shields to even rings like you can actually get your family crest on a ring down here isn't that so cool like i i, I absolutely love this it's a really fun thing to do that is something that's really awesome to do. I was tempted to look up my name and actually get like a ring, but I don't wear jewelry. So maybe just like a nice family crest on the wall. That would be something fun. So you have to check it. The prices vary depending on what you get done. And I just love the look of all the different shops in here. Like it is so beautiful. They put so much like attention to detail. Now that we've made our way through the crown and crest, I want to hop on over to Fancy Goods for Lords and Ladies. Isn't that so funny? Fancy Goods for Lords and Ladies. And I also like just to spend time over here. Right now it's very quiet. Sometimes they have a band in the back there and you can see some character meet and greets. Mary Poppins or Alice in Wonderland. And look, there's nobody back here. This is actually kind of unusual. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I feel like the heat might be keeping some people out of World Showcase and maybe indoors because like I said, it is a super hot day today. But here we are, fancy goods for lords and ladies. And of course, everything looks very fancy. I feel fancy just being in here. 
looks like they've got a nice little selection of toffees here like you can get them in a gigantic carousel right here or a little luggage and it's kind of funny all the individual packaging that they have look at that let me see if i can zoom well focus in english cream toffees and i'm not too sure how much they are though let's see oh there's no price listed maybe on this side let's take a look see nothing i don't know how much they are but it's really interesting and then over here I didn't even know what this was and then I looked at the tag there and it says Church Hills and I think it's little mini chocolate chip cookies. Look at a little tin though. I like this and this can like just fit right in my pocket. I don't have to carry it around. So I think maybe I'll get this and uh, try the cookies on the inside. That'll be like fun. You can also enjoy a complimentary uh, sample of some Twinnings Tea Cold Infusion. Oh, this is a water enhancer and it's blueberry apple and it's free. Yes. If it's free, it's for me. Can I please have one? <laughs> Look at this. That is very fancy. Well, thank you so much. How awesome is that? get like a free little drink here and I can't wait to try it it looks very very refreshing I thought it was tea but it's actually like a water enhancer and uh, yeah I'm gonna drink some of this and I got my uh, Churchill's little cookies look at this I think I'm gonna try to buy anything like store-bought like snacks throughout the, the pavilions because it's really fun it's actually a great way to eat around without spending a lot of money because they're normally a lot cheaper when you buy stuff like this and you get to experience eating around world showcase I think this cost $12 with my discount and there was so much in there and I could just put it like I'm gonna open it up here I could just put it in my pocket and walk around look at individual little baggies and honestly, it's kind of like a little cute tin, especially with the cats and the dogs. Wish it had a Dalmatian on it. I feel like everyone says that about like their animal. Whenever it comes to like something, it'd be like, oh, I wish there was a Corgi on it, or I wish there was a Dalmatian. That's how I am. Okay, but let's dive into these cookies here. Let's see, here we go. Ooh, they're very nice, little tiny cookies. Look at this, and this is great for families too. So we're gonna grab a little cookie, a little shortbread chocolate chip, Wash it down with a free refresher. That's good. If it's free, it's for me. I mean, I love this. This is good. And these are so good. What a good value. I like it. Seriously, I love my little tin here. This is kind of, it, it's really cute. And like I said, you can't go wrong for $12. And it's not like authentic, like something like a United Kingdom like dessert, but I did look it up and like the company's from the UK. So it's really awesome. And it's a great way to actually snack around the world and try different things, especially for families. Because look at all those cookies you get for $12. You really can't go wrong with this at all. And uh, they also make the uh, little uh, toffees too. So they just sell these little tin sets. and. And I looked up and they're only $9.99 online. So you're paying an extra $2 to try it in the UK Pavilion at Epcot. I'll do that any day. All right, now I think it's time we make our way out of the United Kingdom Pavilion and start making our way towards Canada. I can't spend too much time in each of the pavilions or else it'd be like a very long video, but I just want to highlight some of my favorite things. I mean, if I had my way, I probably would just stay here and enjoy the Rose and Crown for a little bit, but we need to move along. I'm definitely gonna end up buying something today because you know what I mean? I always like coming out and leaving with something from World Showcase. The last video I made, I made it a point to buy something in each country and it was a very costy day. <laughs> very, very costy day. Today I'm gonna be a little bit more selective and just purchase something that really stands out to me. And here we are, Canada. We're gonna head into the Northwest Mercantile, the Trading Post, and just explore around. This is really beautiful here as well. I love actually just coming up here and just sitting by the waterfall up top. I do that almost on a daily basis whenever I come to a World Showcase. One of the things I've always wanted to get was the Canada Spirit Jersey. They actually have two different colors now, but I just love this and I love how you got a little Mickey on there. This one's nice too, but I like this one a little bit better. They also have some really cool shirts like I love poutine. Look, look at that, is that funny? And then some Mickey Canada sweatshirts here. I like how they actually incorporate Mickey into all the different countries. So like, this is the only place that you'd be able to buy this actually. You like, you know what I mean? They don't have it at the other merchandise locations. And I like that. Here is a Canada Mickey hockey puck. And it actually says Epcot, Epcot World Showcase on the back. $14.99 for this. 
That is such a cool, unique gift, I think. They also have some tumblers down here. Look at this. Oh, I like this one a lot because it has Mickey and it has Goofy and they're all dressed up. This is actually a really awesome tumbler. This is $22.99. $22.99, not too shabby. Oh, and I love this shirt. What? I've never seen this shirt before. The Spirit of the Pacific Northwest. That is so fancy. The Mickey hockey puck is actually a really cool gift to buy for somebody. I think that's really unique. And another thing that they have here is their own uh, circle vision. They have Canada far and wide in the back here. So that's always something you can check out. And we're gonna walk that way and then walk underneath the waterfalls. But for shops, they only have like these two right now open. So there's not a whole lot to explore. They also sell these really cool Canada hockey Mickey ears. Look at this, they have little hockey sticks on them. I don't think I've ever seen these before, but they look so awesome. And the, the ears are hockey pucks. That is really fancy. I think it's time to move along from Canada though. There wasn't really anything for me to buy there. You know, fun fact, I, you know, we got free uh, drinks over in the UK, but a long time ago, I remember they used to give out free maple hard candy in Canada. I don't think they do that anymore. But how cool would it be if you could go around and get something free from each that country? Just like little samples. I mean, that'd be a cool idea. I think Disney should do a little bit more like Sam's Club. And next stop, here we are, Mexico. And it's gonna be good because we get to go inside for a little bit, soak up the AC and just chill out for a bit and do some shopping. There's a lot of cool nifty things that you can buy in here, so I'm excited to browse. Wow, I have to say it changed a lot in here. It was so quiet in the other pavilions and now it looks so busy. It is super busy in the Mexico pavilion. But like I said, I think a lot of people are heading indoors to get out of the heat. It is, like I said, a very hot, hot day. Maybe I'll get a sombrero. They have a nice selection of sombreros. Some big, some very tiny. Look at this little one and it says Mexico on it. That's kind of cute. You're putting that big sombrero on? Oh, there you go. I like it. <laughs> the sombreros are a good way to keep the sun out of your face when you're walking around World Showcase. And they have a lot of different La Cava merchandise out here. I didn't even ever notice all this like merchandise that they have. I usually just go into La Cava. That's like my favorite place to chill out here in the Mexico Pavilion. But they have margarita glasses, they have shot glasses, they have some hats right here, and then some other stuff too. Like they have a lot of stuff here. Oh, vanilla flavoring. Vanilla flavoring here. What's this down here? Kick butt. Kick butt. <laughs> Add to ribs, steak, and chicken. That is so funny. Spontaneous combustion. That is so crazy. I didn't even know they sold all this stuff. They even have like a little Pure Peppers gift set. What is this? I don't even know how to open it. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Now that is some fancy hot sauce right there. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. This is $38. They do have some Epcot Mexico like merchandise. And I like this little uh, zipper up here. It says Mexico on the back there. And then they have another one over here. This looks like it's for the ladies. Oh, I love this. I love that actually font on the bottom there. Mexico, Epcot World Showcase. And then they've got like a little Mickey tank top and also something for the fellas. A nice collared shirt with Mickey, Mexico, and oh, the year, 1982 when Epcot was actually built. This is actually a really awesome shirt. Another really interesting thing that you can get here that's custom is uh, some very fancy Oaxacan. And it is really awesome because they make them right here. Like they, they carve them right here. Some of them can be actually pretty pricey because there's a lot of uh, detail put into them and the artists are amazing. And like I said, you can uh, just watch them actually carve them and make them right here. And I love it. They have all different sizes. Look at the size of that flamingo in the back there. And of course these little ones right here. And I especially like the birds over here because it reminds me of the Enchanted Tiki Room. These are only $12. That's a great souvenir for $12. Like seriously, don't like isn't that crazy? $12. I think that's a fantastic deal. Now we're gonna head back outside, but I wanna show you guys something kinda cool that a lot of people really do miss out on. Usually when people come into the Mexico Pavilion, they come straight in the front steps, 
but out these doors to the left, or when you come in, uh, there's a really nice pathway with some of uh, Mexico's most beautiful flowers. Like it is so nice over here, look at this. And this is here all year round. Like I love it, it's always amazing. And just coming over here and basically smelling the flowers. Like, isn't this beautiful? I'm very excited to make our way to China and Germany because those places always have amazing things to actually buy and maybe I'll get myself something to eat but now like I said it's on to Norway and there's a lot of things that opened up there that weren't open last time I was here either. First things first, let's make our way through the Gods of the Vikings exhibit. Say hi to Odin, Thor, and Loki. This is a really cool Norse mythology uh, exhibit that they have here. And it seems like it might be a little bit busy in there. Look at this. I love this artwork. Like, look at the artwork. I mean, the wood sh like woodwork here. Like, isn't that amazing? And you can actually walk around it too. Very tight spots over here, but it's a good spot to get away from the crowds. Oh yeah, the AC in here is really good too, but you get to see uh, some really cool exhibits. Here's Loki right there, and then I think we got Thor on this side. Look at that, very cool, and you get to learn a little history as well. Funny thing is, is now we're in Norway, before I was talking about free things, I know that there's a free thing here that you can get at the Norway Pavilion. I get it every time I come here, and it's a little sample of cologne or perfume from Garnis, the essence of Norway. We'll get to our free cologne in a second because, you know, I love it. They even have stuff for dogs too. I got Gracie a little uh, perfume, but I love coming in here because they do have a lot of unique things. They have a nice selection of fine Norwegian snacks. They got some special coffee. Look at this. I don't even know they served like the coffee here before. It's the first time seeing this. That's actually really cool. And then some candy bars too. This is called Kex. I wonder if it's like Kit Kat. I feel like it's like a Kit Kat. $3.49 for that. Some of it I really can't even, I don't know how to pronounce the name. $7.95 for one candy bar? Holy moly. And then this is Jap. Shop. $4.99 for that little guy. So that's kind of expensive. Funny it being like, you know, Florida and it's hot. They do sell a lot of Heli and Hansen, like jackets and stuff like that. A lot of these actually have Mickey on them. So it's a little bit of an Epcot exclusive. And that's kind of fancy. These are very expensive. I always look at the prices of them because I'm like, wow. Oh, this one's only $150. I mean, that's still kind of expensive, but I thought it was going to be a lot more. They also have a lot of Epcot exclusive merchandise, like Epcot Norway. Visit Norway, Epcot World Showcase. They have their own spirit jersey over here. I'm starting to think that almost every country has their own spirit jersey. A little zipper up. I like these, these are actually really nice. It's cool because this is the stuff that I look forward to checking out, you know what I mean? It also looks like they stocked up on the trolls. I love the little troll figurines here because I was a big fan of the Maelstrom when it was an attraction here. So it's really cool that they brought more of those back. I just think these guys are so cool. And they have a little bit of everybody. Like you got couples, you got families, you got individual guys. This would be me. <laughs> this would be me. And I like it. I don't know how much the prices are. They're not, they're not listed on there, but... They were really cool, kind of creepy looking. This one's knitting a Norway flag. Little grandma right there. They also have these really cool Norwegian beer steins. Look at this one though. That is awesome. This is like a really awesome beer stein. And I don't know how much this is. Oh, uh, da -da. oh $90 for that. $90. I think I'll stick to the free uh, Norway perfume or cologne. And I love this crew. I, I get it all the time. I, I'm sure I talk about it a lot, but I always have to include it. Just in case somebody's never watched this video before. This is actually a really good smelling uh, scent. They have it for men and they have it for women and they have candles. And it's really awesome. You get to come in and test it all out. Or like I said, you get a little, uh, little sample. Little sample for free. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. And I always like doing this and grabbing it as I'm like, you know, walking around World Showcase. Freshens you up a little bit on a hot day. And uh, there's also one more thing I want to point out here that is kind of cool that a lot of people never notice. 
before I mentioned I love I, I love the ride Maelstrom and it used to be open right here so you can see the ride as it actually goes through now it's frozen but under this waterfall actually right behind it you can see there's a sword in the stone there it's really hard to see but it's there when you come and see it in person you'll be able to see it a lot better than on this video all right now we got to move along for Norway and make our way into China China we're gonna dive right on in and go to the house of good fortunes I think that's in the back here and like I said a lot of people don't really explore far in the back and this pavilion itself is massive like there is so much in here and you can honestly get lost in the store so it's gonna be cool to bring you in and just show you around a little bit they also have an amazing Shanghai Disney exhibit inside their circle vision because they have China uh, circle vision too, like their own uh, show here as well one thing I definitely know I'm gonna be getting today is a special potato chip. Like they always have like really unique flavors of potato chips in here. So I always like to explore with those a little bit. Take a look at these money trees right here. You can actually buy a money tree in Epcot and like walk out of here with it. $118, I bought a uh, like bonsai tree that was bigger than that last time I was here. And that was in the, the Japan Pavilion. They also have some Zen gardens over here. So you get to create a little Zen for yourself. Nice way to relax, $21 for that. This one doesn't look so Zen though. Yeah, <laughs> someone needs to <laughs> do a little gardening. Something else that's pretty interesting, you can buy swords and like knives here and they have them displayed. The only thing is, is they have to ship them out to you. I don't think you can take these out. Like you can't actually walk around the park with them. $128 for these right there. Like I said, they have whole entire sets and they have knives and that's kind of cool. But you know what I mean? Like it, it's tough though, because if you buy it here, they just ship it, I, I think back to your house. I don't even think they ship it to the resort because you can't bring this into the, uh, you can't bring this into the parks. Okay, now I'm excited. The things that I've been talking about, like the chips and the candy, all the little goodies. Right here, they've got a grilled squid flavor lay potato chip, grilled squid, uh, a numb and spicy hot pot flavor. That's kind of cool. Then we've got spicy crawfish over here. One time I got coffee potato chips here and they were phenomenal. They have tons though, so like a lot to actually choose from. Texas grilled barbecue flavor. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's really awesome though. And then let's see what else they got on this side. So you just kind of just keep looking around. I think that's just about it. Oh, Mexican chicken and tomato flavor. I think I'm gonna get the grilled squid flavor so I can try them. Like, you know, I just wanna try them, give them a little sample, but we're still gonna shop around though. Another thing I always point out is getting some pretty cool amazing drinks back here. They sell shots of Baijiu, which is a Chinese liquor. I've done it before. It's only $7.50 and they have plum wine, Sing Sao beer, and then a whole bunch of other things. Like I said, bubble tea, assorted tea, and they kind of just grab and go. So I think I might grab a little tea to go with my squid potato chips, but I don't know which one I'm gonna get. All right, it's time. I got the grilled squid flavored Lay's potato chips, and then I got myself a tea beverage of some sort, but I can't tell what flavor it is. I don't know anything about it really. It just says tea drink, tea drink. And uh, we're gonna dive into it. I'm excited, like you can't read anything like on here at all. It's so funny. And I don't know why it has the time on it, 3 p.m. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But okay, first the potato chips. Ooh, they actually smell pretty good. Oh, and they're wavy too. Very wavy. I'm gonna get the drink ready though because one's if I don't like it. So you can have something to wash it down with. You know? Okay, here we go. Got the drink ready. Gonna go in for the chip. Go in for the chip. No. It's not horrible. I don't think I like it though. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no, what did I do? Wait, I gotta try one more though. One more. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not my bag of chips. They're not like disgusting, but it's just not like my bag of chips. 
once you actually get the flavoring off of it, it just tastes like a regular potato chip. But I just, I, I, yeah, I don't like it. I, I like squid too. Like I'll eat, I'll eat squid. I no problem there. I just, I don't know. It's, like I said, not my thing, but it was fun to try it. Fun to, you know, experiment and try new things. And I have no idea what this drink is because it does not taste good. Like, it doesn't taste like tea. I thought it was gonna be green tea because the bottle was green, but it just says tea drink with honey, jasmine tea. Oh, there is green tea in it, but I don't know what else is in there. I think it's actually the jasmine that's in there. Like, I feel like that's what it is that I'm tasting because I don't like jasmine. Like, they have a jasmine beer and I don't like it as much. Kind of tastes like, hold on. Tastes like perfume. So it's definitely the jasmine I don't like. Well, that was a very nice new experience. And now I think it's time to make our way uh, to Germany. Yeah, we're gonna head over to Germany. But also I wanna point out, if you ever want like a good spot to cool down here in China, I definitely recommend coming in here and just kind of either watching the show or taking a look at the uh, Disney uh, Shanghai exhibit. It's very, very quiet and nice AC. I love making videos like this. I mean, it's stuff that I've done and seen like tons and tons of times and it's stuff that I've shown in videos in the past, but I always like making videos, not for the people that have been watching the channel for a while, but for the people that have never watched my videos and people that are planning on coming to Disney, people who have never been to Disney, and then diehard Disney fans who will watch anything Disney because that's how I am. Like I could watch someone walking around World Showcase like hundreds of times no matter how many times I've done it so like let me know like you know what kind of person are you guys let me know in the comments are you guys just those people that love to watch my videos for like my channel do you love watching it just because you get to enjoy Disney or are you planning a vacation to come to Disney you know what I mean it's really really fun and that's why I try to do videos for everybody and now we have arrived at our next pavilion and country and it's Germany. So we're gonna actually go through and kind of shop around and explore. And like I said, I'm still looking for something to buy. I, I kind of, that one thing that's gonna stand out for me and if it hasn't stand out yet, then uh, it's not gonna happen. Now we're gonna make our way into the Christmas store. And remember before I was telling you guys like it's, it's hot outside, I'm sure I said it like three times already, but like a lot of people are just hanging out in the stores just trying to cool off because like I said, it, it is super, super hot out there. And I love coming into like the Germany store. So look at these little Mickey and Minis here. Look at this, I love it. That is so cool, I don't know how much they are though. I love how I just walk upon something as I'm videoing. I'm like, oh, look at this, $34.99 for those. Oh, and these little birds too, $14.99 for these little ornaments. It's cheaper to get the birds over in Mexico though. Funny thing is, is I feel like I buy a lot of things from the Germany Pavilion. Like there was a lot here. I bought the, the piece of the Berlin Mall. Like they have a, a, an actual piece of the Berlin Wall. I bought tw two of them. Like it's on a stein. I bought uh, a hat. Like I bought shirts. There's a lot of really cool merchandise. Look at all of this like exclusive Epcot merchandise. Gluten dog and a little mini there. And then they've got some hats. I love all of this because it all says Epcot's World Showcase on it. And it has a little Mickey. They have a little pillow down there. Some shirts. This is really cool. And then like I was talking about before, they have uh, fancy steins here. And one of them used to come with a piece of the actual Berlin Wall. And I have two of them, but I don't think they're selling them anymore. Okay, I think I found something that actually stands out to me. Happy Beer Day, Beer Garden. Only beer grows in this garden. I love this, and it says Epcot World Showcase. This is actually something that I, I'm, I'm very interested in getting. $29.99. It's heavy though, but I love this. This is so cool. Oh, they also. Really? I've never seen this, and it's for the 50th anniversary. It is. There's only a thousand of them? Only a thousand. Oh, wow, that's so cool. He sits like this, and then he has a little medallion that has the 50th on it. How much is it? $350. $350? That is so cool, though. And you can get all your discounts on this if you're an annual pass. Oh, holder, really? Holder. What about cast member? All right. Yeah. I kind of like this. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, and then he also comes with a certificate of authenticity. I can't speak. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, certificate of authenticity. Yeah, and then it has a number on it as well. Oh, wow. That's number 128. Yes, Very cool. 
that bear was really cool and there's only a thousand of them I didn't even know they were selling that hair I'm glad I looked I seen like that 50th anniversary box and I was like what is that so very cool that they showed that and I do want to get the stein but I don't want to carry it around it's very heavy and I'm afraid I would like break it you know what I mean? I'm already one-handed now because I have the camera so I think I'll come back when I'm not actually actively vlogging I made my way over to the next spot here in Germany and take a look at these. These beautiful picture frames and then the enchanted rose right there. Beauty and the Beast. And it's actually like so nice. $355 for this. That's actually really cheap compared to what I thought was going to be like $1,000. And I also like all this too. Oh, and it's got the old Epcot logo on there. I don't know if you can see it. These are very fancy. A little Mickey bell. I, I want to ring it, but I don't want to ring it because I'm afraid it'll break. All right, it's time to move along, and our next stop is going to be Italy. Now, there's not many stores in Italy, just a couple, but uh, we'll try to find something fun in there as well. Here it is. I don't remember Italy ever having a lot of stores. It also has two restaurants in here and a quick service location. So, like, that's probably why. But uh, this is the first section here, so we're going to head right on in. This is actually really cool because they have a whole setup here where I get to show you guys a little bit of everything. We've got the Italy ears up there, the dress, nice Italy dress and a bag there. And I don't see much over here for men. Looks like it's just mostly for the ladies here, but uh, maybe something on this wall. Let's take a peek, see over here. Oh yeah, there we go, oh wow, look at this. Oh wow, I like this. Look at that Mickey, look at him. He looks so cool. Seriously, I love this little Mickey. Topolino, look at that. This is I think for kids, but I mean, these are really cool designs. I don't think I've ever seen it before. They even have water bottles too. Across the way they have another store, but I want to point out this Adventures by Disney sign. The world is a magical place. Explore it with us. I love that. Like if that was for sale, I think I would buy that. And in here they have a little bit more selection of uh, Epcot like exclusive merchandise. I can see already. Nice little hat here. Vino, tiramisu, gelato, cappuccino. Epcot World Showcase. That's a cool shirt. Something else I come upon, you can buy yourself a whole bunch of strawberry coated donuts right here in the Italy Pavilion. I wonder what they taste like. I mean, they can't be like soft donuts. And oh, the whole entire pack's five dollars. This is huge too. Like holy moly. I'm actually a little interested in trying some of these snacks in here. Like that is kind of, that's really interesting. And they, they have tons, they don't just not just strawberry donuts. Look, they have all different selections. They even have a cake. Look, look at this. That is so crazy. I wonder how much this whole cake is. $8.99. These are like actually not like, like bad prices. I ended up buying the pink donuts Kambala, which is basically a donut. It's like a circle cake in Italy. But $5 for this, this has got to be one of the best deals here in Epcot. I can't wait to try them because I was super intrigued. And I wonder how many you get. Like for a family, like this is insane. That's not even one, like $5 won't even get you one like dessert, uh, like one of the stands here. Look at this. Holy moly. What? That is so crazy. I can't even believe this. $5, $5.99. There are six of them in here. Like that is, I, like I said, I, I'm just kind of still fixated on the price there. But like, that's like a perfect little snack or treat for a family, you know what I mean? That's on a budget. And we're gonna try one, we're gonna go in. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. I think I'm gonna like them. So I might carry them around, but I feel like they might melt. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh wow, these are amazing. Holy moly, I love them. I seriously feel like I just found like the best kept secret here at Epcot. And look at that, there's jelly on the inside of them too. This is such a like unbelievable deal, less than a dollar a donut. All right, well that is really cool. The donuts were very fun. And like, they're not like the best donuts, but they were actually really delicious. They're kind of reminding me of like store-bought donuts, but still, like I said, you can't go wrong with that price. And uh, it's time to move to our next country and pavilion. It's America. It's America. We're going through America. But 
they don't really have a store for America. I think most of it's outside, and then they have the Art of Disney store. So, I mean, we'll take a quick look, but I don't think there's anything there, really. Like I said, they have the Art of Disney store over there. We'll take a look inside, but most of it is kind of just, like, not really, like, Disney-ish. Like, it's just, like, Mickey and Minnie ears and random hats. They have a couple of things, but nothing like uh, America Epcot Pavilion, like, Ornate. Like, like it, I mean, this is the stuff that they have right here. And that's it. It's a very small selection. They have a cowboy hat. They do have their own spirit jersey though, so that is very nice. America the Beautiful. And this is really, really nice. Wow, I love this. Fun in the USA. Sadly, I think that's it for America. Like, I went into the uh, Art of Disney store, but they really don't have anything like Epcot or America themed. It's just regular art from Art of Disney. So I think we're going to move to Japan next. It's right in order. Japan is definitely not like America. They have basically the biggest merchandise shop actually out of all of World Showcase. It is massive. It starts here and goes all the way around. So we're just going to head right on in. And I love hanging out here. Literally, this is another one of those pavilions that a lot of people don't even go all the way back. Like, because you know what I mean? It's, you don't think it's just, it's this big, but it is. It's huge. Since 1673. That says a lot right there. <laughs> and yeah, look at it in here. I love it. <laughs> One place we can start is here at Modern Japan. And it's funny because they have so many different cleaning supplies in here. Like they have beans bottle cleaning. Like so these are little like beans that you would put in bottles and then shake them around and you would clean the inside of the bottle there. And I think that's really fancy. I don't see a price for them, but I like it. And then they also have sponges and different things that you can actually use. And, and it's not so strange that they sell this stuff in Epcot. They also have a big variety of different fans. And today, these would actually come in handy. Oh wow, they work really well too. And only $4.95. That's not too bad at all. Yep, that is $5 well spent, especially on a hot day. Holy moly, it only feels really good inside of a store because you're pushing the AC, but when you're outside, you're kind of just like pushing hot air at you. I know that like even about like the personal fans. Don't try it, like don't try it in the store. Always take it outside and try it, if you can. I mean, obviously they don't want to do that because it's shoplifting, but. <laughs> Before I was telling you uh, in the past, I was able to buy a whole entire bonsai tree here. I don't see any of the bonsai trees for sale. I see little ones right here, but uh, they do have the bonsai kits. So you can actually grow your own bonsai tree. Little starter. I think mean, that's fun. The bonsai tree I had didn't last very long. Like, it, it, I, 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 I try to take care of it, but you can overwater it. Like, it doesn't need much care. And I think I just took care of it too much. Like, <laughs> like that's the thing. You know what I mean? You have to be very, there's specific instructions. So you have to be very careful with it. Another really cool thing that they sell in the Japan Pavilion is a lot of different candy, snacks, and noodles. And I, yeah, I think that's kind of fun. They have tons of different uh, ramyuns and cups of noodles. And, you know, they're not, like, horribly priced. $4.29, $2 for the original right here. So, I mean, it's kind of fun. And they have all different flavors. Oh, look. Holy moly, look at that. That's a lot, a lot of noodles right there. Buckwheat noodles. And then down here we have some golden curry. Some miso soup. <laughs> I think it's fun. One of my favorite things to always point out is the different Kit Kat selections they have here. And they usually actually rotate the flavors out. And they have so many different ones. But this one right here caught my eye pretty fast. Look at this. It's cheesecake flavored Kit Kat. Cheesecake flavored Kit Kat. And then these ones are strawberry Kit Kats. And then I'm not too sure what this one is. Looks like it's just cracker Kit Kats. Like, <laughs> so strange. And then we have maybe dark chocolate Kit Kats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. And then green tea Kit Kats, I bet, right here. Yeah, isn't that so amazing? $12.95 for these. And then they have tons of different other candies here as well. And of course, you got to get the Pocky, the good old Pocky. Well, I decided on getting the green tea Kit Kats to try. Well, I decided on getting the green tea Kit Kats to try. So we're gonna open them up. I don't know if they're individually like packaged or if they're, oh yeah, they're individually packaged. Look at that. Very simple. 
And oh wow, they look nice. Look at this. They're little miniature ones. No crack though. <laughs> I thought I was gonna make that noise. But uh, green tea Kit Kat. Very good. Oh yes. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the inside of them, but these are actually really delicious. They're not bad at all. I, I enjoy these. I can eat these on the regular. And now I have a whole bag. A whole bag that's individually wrapped. So these will actually hold up a lot better than the donuts do. Well, that was really fun. I really like those Kit Kats. I feel like I need to go back and try some more. Like try all the different flavors. I've seen a lot of crazy different Kit Kat flavors in the day, but I've never really tried any of them. So let me know like what your like craziest Kit Kat flavor that you have tried. And then I was thinking of the song where it's like, give me a break, break me off a piece of that. I can't remember the name of the thing. Break me off a piece of that applesauce. No, that wasn't it. Break me off a piece of that Chrysler car. I think that was it. Honestly, sometimes I just try to make myself laugh. And if you guys know, you know. But, <laughs> moving along, we are in Morocco. And sadly, this is another one of the pavilions that doesn't have like a big merchandise location. I think they just have this right here. Like this very tiny little section outside. So you really don't have much to go off of. Ooh, but they do have these fancy little hats right here. Look at these guys. I like it. How much are they? $24.99. I kind of like that. Made in Morocco. They also have some other hats and some really cool items, but I don't see anything like Mex or Morocco Pavilion like themed Epcot. So I don't know. I mean, I, I like it, but I'm not too sure what some of this stuff is. They also do sell those little finger ting tings, you know the ones that go together and you go ting ting ting, it's uh, $9.99 and I just double checked and they don't have like another location, so this is it. So like there's no like exclusive Morocco Epcot merchandise. I mean, there's not a lot, but there's still a lot more than America has. At least they have an indoor location. America's just outside. So that's kind of like, you know what I mean? But there's not really much I can show you in there. So this has been fun, but I have been slowly getting rid of all of my Kit Kats because every time I run into somebody who wants to come up and say hi, I've been offering them and I've given away almost the whole bag. I think I only have like one Kit Kat left, but it's cool because I want to share the experience with people. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, anyone that got to try them enjoyed them. I bought like a whole bag and uh, I've been trying snacks. And I have tons of them. Oh god, look yeah. green tea Kit Kats. They're very fancy. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Bye. I guess we're just gonna have to move along from Morocco. I did look around a lot. I really just couldn't find anything to show or try or buy. And uh, only one country to go. One to go in France. And it's been fun so far. Like I've really been enjoying my day so much. And uh, yeah, I definitely have to do this again. Cause like I said, you can do it as many times as you want, but there's always gonna be something different. All these stores, they don't always sell the same exact thing. Like in the Japan store, everything is basically just brought in and changed out almost on a weekly basis and the same thing with a lot of the other pavilions and here we are our last pavilion of the day France and there's a lot to actually go in here they have tons of different little stores all around we'll start off right here and it's really kind of cool because they're selling some of the Disneyland Paris merchandise because they just had their anniversary they even had the Dooney and Burke one here I wonder if it's all inside so we'll have to take a look see but I love the smell in here this is what they smell all the good cologne yeah take a look they got the Disneyland 30 years here are the ears and they have some of the pins and uh, they had the uh, uh, which one called Dooney and Burke and then they have some of the t-shirts and even a hat. Look at the ball cap up here This looks very fancy. Oh wow. I like the little Disneyland Paris on the inside there. This is a really cool hat actually I would love to go to Disneyland Paris one day So it's really cool that they at least sell the merchandise here for the anniversary now I think we're gonna head into the other store across the way they have a pretty good selection of like Epcot country specific merchandise. I like how they have Mickey and Minnie right here with the Eiffel Tower and then there's a little mini bow on top and it has the newest Epcot logo to it. But then we get poor little Stitch over here who's been outdated. Look at that. These will end up at the uh, character warehouse probably very soon. I do actually like this right here though. This is really cool. Epcot France World Showcase. Definitely would pinky up with this. 
I feel a little bummed that I really didn't get to buy anything today. I was looking for maybe a fancy new hat or some really cool apparel. I mean, I would love to get one of the spirit jerseys, but I have an issue with spirit jerseys and the issue is I never have enough so I keep on buying them and I need to just cut back a little bit. I have some I've never even worn before, I just got them to have them and uh, yeah I mean I guess that's that's really it here for the France Pavilion. I mean I could have went along and bought some other stuff and showed you guys a little bit more but I think we should just wrap it up before the storm actually comes because I had a great day today. Like it's been pretty amazing trying all these new snacks and different things and then also just shopping around and exploring in the pavilions it's always a fun thing to do and I'm gonna keep making videos like this so I'll definitely do another one you know in a couple of months when more stuff comes and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye